This is one of the biggest fixtures in non-league. Two clubs with very passionate fan bases. We are watching Oldham versus Hartlepool. The away side got relegated last season in which I was in attendance for one of the defining fixtures. Get out of my club! When you want the owner out, it gets toxic, and that's the state of which the club are in right now. It's very sad to see because I really like Hartlepool and their supporters. But it isn't just the Paulies with issues. Oldham were the first former Premier League side to be relegated from the Football League. They were in a financial crisis, threats of liquidation, and ownership problems left, right, and centre. These two sides played each other the other day with Oldham winning 3 1. Can they replicate this performance again? Let's find out. Right then, we're on our way to Oldham, and I must say, I have not got too much optimism that this match is going to go ahead. In front of me, it's raining, and it's been raining all night, all morning. Welcome to Oldham, everyone. I think we're in Oldham. I don't even know if we are officially in Oldham. Ryan over here, of course, is here. He's taking us to a Spoons. Because he's in the away end. I'm in the home end today. This is a bit awkward. But Ryan, why are you in the away end, mate? It's the only end to be in, isn't it? True, true. Do you know what? I do feel sorry for the Hartlepool fans because normally I'm in their end. But I thought Oldham today go a little bit different. So it turns out we're not actually in Oldham. We're in a place called Shaw. So now we're actually going to go to Oldham. Although I am a little bit confused now. Blinds in Oldham, sunshine. Am I in Oldham? Am I in Oldham? That is a question. I haven't got a clue. What I do know is Ryan will be buying them blinds very soon. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Late Christmas present here, so it's got to be done. Whether it was in Oldham before or not, well, well that's a and q behind me, but we are here. This is a new ground tick for me in the National League. I'm excited for this one, and especially Oldham winning last time. There could be some fantastic scenes yet again. I'll tell you one thing. I was on about the game being called off. But ever since I've said that, the rain has stopped, so there's no threat of this one being called off, in my opinion, anyway. Grey clouds in the distance. Still an hour and a half till kickoff. You never know. But from the outside, old school stadium, you know I like that. Look at this in all its glory. Proper old school. It's good to finally take this one off. It's always been on the list, and I'm glad to say today's the day we take it off. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? For non-league, it's like you can't really complain. The fifth tier of English football, you put out in any other country and see their fifth tier, it'll be nothing like what you see today. Apparently as well, this is the coldest stadium in England. That's what I've heard anyway. Um, my reliable information is Ryan, so if he's wrong, blame him. Although seeing the clouds in the distance, it is quite chilly. But this time of year, it should be a lot more colder, so we're actually quite lucky. And this is where I'll enter very soon, with the Oldham fans, should be a good atmosphere. This is the outside concourse, and apparently they're really known for their pies here. Really good pies, so, and I'm hungry. So I'm having a pie. And this is the stadium in all its glory. First visit here. Yeah, big fan. It's really nice. Especially with roofing like this. All around the stadium, you can see the terraces which aren't even being used. It's really old school. This is the terrace which is not being used, obviously. I like that character about it. And I'm hoping for a good atmosphere. And talking of it, this is where the banner is. I've got a drum down here. The away end in the distance as well. We can't even see it because the roofing's just hovering over it. But nevertheless, it's really good. Right, I'm not being funny, but it's time for a pie. Let's see how great this really is. It's a good base. I'll give them that. Right, I'm not just saying it for the video, but that was probably one of the best pies I've had at the football. Oldham have not won at home since September. So it's not looking great, is it? But hopefully I'll bring the luck today. I've said this stadium's got character, but I'll tell you what, they have got this one modern stand on the right just here. It looks good. So at least they've got a bit of a mix. Come on, MB, and what are you saying today? Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 Oldham. James Norris scored twice. Here we go then. The teams are out. Oldham versus Hartlepool. Excited for this one. I'm hoping for goals. Action should be a good one. This. Let's see if Oldham can get the first win at home since September. Action. That's what. That's the key word for this. I want action. Here we go, then we're off. Let's see if they can replicate like they did on Boxing Day. And Oldham are unchanged, so you never know. So it was John's here first time. Yeah. Oh, what a start that is. What a start. Great finish and all. Really good finish. Ball was swung across. I think the wind helped it. And it's 1 0 to Oldham. That on the volley as well. What a finish that was. It is literally three minutes on the clock. That did not take him long at all. Since 
goal. It's all been Hartlepool, to be fair. Header, since the goal, it has been a bit more Hartlepool. They are growing into the game very well. Ball's in. Oh, my days. So, Hartlepool, I think a goal could be coming soon. It's a ball out with a wind. <laughs> Robin Van Persie, yes. Die for the header there. Chance if I can play this right, just before half time. Oh, it's a great ball as well. Since the goal, the first half has been very dull, I must say. Oh, ooh! <laughs> Am I missing something there? Or is that just a blatant foul? And that is half time. Back underway, come on, and more goals. And as I said at the start, more action, please. Can hold him, get an early goal in the second half. Oh my! Straight off the crossbar, that could have caused a lot of trouble. Right, I did not expect a smoke bomb midway through the second half, but this is exactly what we've got. I love how he's just standing there, so the stewards just watch him do it. Now there could be a chance to wrap it all up. Oh, oh my day! really don't see the point. Like, of course you want to see it, but like, when you're waving it around like that, right in front of them, like, what do you expect? Only 80 minutes to go, plus injury time. I think I would have just looking to see out the 1-0 right now. Going a ball. Older! Older! Another goal for Older, mate. It'll just seal the game. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah! There it is, right in front of the Hartlepool fans. And that looks like another three points taken away from the Paulies. Hartlepool fans are not happy that one, understandable, then celebrating right in front of him. Oldham get that second of the game, as I just said, if they got the goal, then it would have killed the game. And I think this has definitely killed the game now. With five minutes to go, it seems game over. It does flatter Oldham because I feel like Hartlepool have been quite good today. It could be one back. Good save though, it might be heading over anyway. Keeper didn't want to take any chances, it's a corner. Six minutes added on, the time is ticking. Two minutes to go, it looks like they've done the job. I must say, I spoke to a lot of Hartlepool fans before the game, and I really hope things do get better soon. The ownership situation, of course, and ever since Channel I left, everything's gone downhill, and I hope you have a positive ride soon. And that is it then, full time. 2-0 to Oldham. A great time here. I love the stadium. I love the old school factor, the modernness over here. It just didn't take their chance to when I had them, and Oldham did. That was the main factor of the game. And fair play to Oldham for winning for the first time since September at home. They've done the double over Hartlepool in the space of like three, four days. But that was a fantastic time here.